Let's look at these two data structures. On one hand, we have array data structure with a collection of elements identified by their indexes where first element is at index zero. On the other hand, we have stack, which is a collection of elements with LIFO principal implementation. Arrays can only contain same type data types. If you come from JavaScript, you may have a different idea of this because you can put many data types in your typical array. But this is because in JavaScript, arrays are list-like objects with special powers. You need to use JavaScript typed arrays for this to be true. Stacks, though, are just collection of items, so they can contain mixed data type. Arrays are random access data type, which means you can access any item at any position, remove, update, iterate, etc. Stack implements the LIFO principle, and you can only read and write from and to the top, aka end of the list. Because of these differences, arrays have many methods to do all sort of things like sort, find, reverse, insert, get index, etc. Arrays may even contain push and pop like methods, which are the main methods for stacks. That's also why you may find arrays being used as stack data structure. Stack main methods are push to add new item to the end, pop to remove from the end, and peek to check the last element. Another difference is that array is also a data type, whereas stacks is an abstract data type. This means that arrays are concrete concepts, while stack is a representation of a sequential collection of things, simply a mathematical model. To put it simply, Abstract data types are defined by their operations and values, and what makes stack a stack is the fact that it implements the LIFO principle, has operations like pop and push, for example. Arrays are great when you know the size and the type of data you are dealing with, and expect to make random changes throughout your processing. Stacks are great for dynamic programming, as they can grow and shrink with the processes. Especially if you care most about the latest insertion and removal whenever you need to process something. Like I mentioned before, you can find stack implementations that use arrays under the hood or even see arrays being used as stack. I have a video on this channel where I implement stack and provide code examples to solve some algorithm problems and I encourage you to check it out for deeper understanding of stacks. With that, leave questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.